The Steam Deck reserving space issue is a common storage problem that affects users when downloading or updating games. This issue causes the download process to stall indefinitely at the space reservation stage. This problem affects approximately 15 to 20% of Steam Deck users, making it one of the most commonly reported storage-related issues. The problem has persisted across multiple SteamOS updates. The issue stems from several root causes. Storage fragmentation is the most common, where insufficient contiguous free space prevents proper allocation. Corrupted shader caches, failed previous installations, and SSD wear also contribute to the problem. The Steam Deck uses different storage types, each with varying susceptibility to this issue. The 64GB EMMC models are most prone to fragmentation problems, while the larger NVMe models perform better, but can still experience issues. During space reservation, Steam follows a specific process. It calculates the required storage space, attempts to allocate contiguous storage blocks, verifies available space against system requirements, and prepares the download queue for installation. The issue is typically triggered by insufficient contiguous free space, or when less than one gigabyte of free space remains on the device. These conditions prevent Steam from properly allocating the required storage blocks for game downloads and updates. Now we'll explore practical solutions to resolve the reserving space problem on Steam Deck. These methods are organized from simple immediate fixes to advanced troubleshooting techniques. The first method is storage cleanup, which has an 85% success rate. This involves three key steps, clearing the shader cache, removing compatibility tool data, and clearing Steam's download cache. To clear the download cache, navigate to Steam settings, select downloads, and click the clear cache button as highlighted here. This removes temporary download files that may be causing conflicts. If storage cleanup doesn't resolve the issue, the next step is restarting Steam services in desktop mode. Restarting Steam services has a 70% success rate. Switch to desktop mode, terminate all Steam processes, then restart the Steam client. This clears temporary allocation locks. For more persistent issues, intermediate solutions involve verifying Steam installation integrity and rebuilding the Steam database. Intermediate solutions include verifying Steam installation integrity, rebuilding the Steam database, and checking library folder permissions. These address deeper system level issues. When basic methods fail, advanced troubleshooting involves checking storage hardware health and file system integrity. Advanced troubleshooting starts with checking SSD health using the smart CTL command. This reveals hardware issues that may cause storage allocation problems. The smart CTL command output shows detailed information about your storage device, including health status, capacity, and any detected errors that could affect space allocation. The second advanced technique is performing a file system check to detect and repair storage corruption. Use the FS command to check and repair file system errors. This can resolve corruption that prevents proper space allocation. The FS key output shows the repair process, including any corrections made to the file system structure and allocation tables. If all previous methods fail, a complete storage reset or factory reset should be considered as the final solution. Last resort solutions include complete storage reset with selective game backup, factory reset of SteamOS, or SSD replacement for hardware failures. These methods have a 95% success rate but require significant time investment. These solutions progress from simple cache clearing to advanced hardware diagnostics. Start with storage cleanup and restart methods before moving to more complex troubleshooting. Most users find success with the first two methods, 